It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Los Angeles Chargers and the Buffalo Bills on Thursday night. The NFL is on EA Sports as we bring you a look inside Highmark Stadium here at Orchard Park, New York. Tonight on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store as it'll be the L.A. Chargers taking on the Buffalo Bills. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams, because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball downfield. And we are underway in Buffalo. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at six foot five. That's Josh Allen. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball, while there are others who have big arms. There aren't too many guys who can do both. And at the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. Into the air right away is Allen. Got it complete to Khalil Shakir. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Now a first carry for the brother of Dalvin. It's James Cook. Gets past one man. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Another big play was in get 28 out of that one. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles. Gain some additional yardage. Here's Allen on first and 10. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger gauge. Here's second and ten. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Zero hesitation that time. That was get ball, throw ball. Yeah, turn into a smoke route. If you see the coverage off the receiver, doesn't matter whether you call it a run or not. Just take the ball, get it out to him. Here is third down and four. To the air, Allen. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, maybe said, forget about the sticks. We want six. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills' opening drive yields three. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all.
So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. And at quarterback from the University of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. And it certainly hadn't taken Herbert long to earn his status as one of the league's best and most entertaining passers. Locked and loaded at every snap. And the second he sees an opening, that ball is soaring downfield. You better be on your toes against him on defense. The second you turn your head, they'll burn you. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Got an open man, it's Josh Palmer. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. the run this is J.K. Dobbins a strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49 it'll go as a gain of 11 at a charger first a CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness and they've got a back that's both we know that he's fast in the open field but man his first step is so quick too it is something isn't it because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field but also, when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Here's Herbert. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage, too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Anytime they think they've got him open beyond the markers, you know they're going to throw it his way. And that's not going to change even after that incompletion was forced. Now fourth down, so the Chargers trot out J.K. Scott. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Short completion, just four yards, and that will bring up second down. Here's Allen to throw it. A quick throw there is incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. So after the second down incomplete, they'll come up now against a third and six. Allen going to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on to punt for Buffalo. Deep to return is Darius Davis. This is fielded at the 27. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. 
The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and ten. From the 34 now, here's first and ten. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. First carry now for Isaiah Spiller. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Here's third and six. Herbert now. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give him credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. And now out come the Bills. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and ten as this new drive starts. Allen and the Bills now with a first and ten at the 20. Throwing to start the drive. Good slant to Shakir. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Now Allen. That complete to Shorter. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds. Because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, you. Allen. Got a man there. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. On play action, Allen. And complete right side to Cook. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it's second down. From the pistol, they run it with Cook. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. They'll run it. Here's Cook. Well, he's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped. But what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, and ends up spilling it for a loss. Here's Sam Martin now. 
as he'll punt it away for the second time. And how about this, a fake? And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. Fourth and short in this part of the field. You just know the special teams coordinator was rallying the team, saying, watch the fake, watch the fake for Brandon. Don't they usually say that on every punting situation? Oh, yeah, they can be up 40 in the fourth quarter. That's their job. They scream that every time. And this time, though, his team locked in, and they were well aware that it truly was a situation that they could fake it, and they were ready for it and stopped it. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 45. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Throw left side is hauled in by Palmer. And he's brought down. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. On first down, Justin Herbert. They will find Davis. That's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Second and a couple. A handoff running left is Dobbins. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. A second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Now Herbert. Darius Davis, 31 yards. And the Chargers are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Just a four-play drive that time. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Beginning this series with a handoff to Cook. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. From the 24 now, here's a second and seven. Allen now looks to throw. This will be caught at Samuel. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. First down, Allen. 
Throwing quickly there, but hits incomplete. Now a second and ten. To throw, it's Allen. Now he fires deep for Shakir. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. Try to equal it on that throw. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing now is Allen. And that is incomplete. Had to pass there, third and long on your own side of the field. Just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 27. And they'll begin by running the option. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A big time gain there on the keeper using his legs to hurt him. First down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Herbert on first down now. It's taken in by Quentin Johnston. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 24 yards the game there. Another first down as well. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. Herbert operating from the red zone. Pass caught. It's Davis on the crossing route. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Now it's Herbert. His throw incomplete. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. They'll run up the gap with Dobbins. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. J.K. Dobbins taking it in from seven yards away. And the Chargers are able to extend their lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of a season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive.
And here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Allen again here on second and 10. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and 10. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Throwing is Allen on third. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, a 14-3 ball game. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Here's Allen. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. To the air, Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Back to the ground, Cook, and he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. There to make the tackle, Khalil Mack. I think what we just saw there, partner, was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. Come on, offense. Come on. Allen looks to throw on second down. And yeah, this will be caught by his big wide receiver. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 24-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. Play action. Now it's Allen. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Denzel Perryman with a sack. Now how about that? Defensive coordinator perfectly in sync, dials up a blitz, and the man in the middle, he's the one who gets home. Big Mike. Big Mike. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. And he finds a man with a crossing route. 
And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Cook. Diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows its versatility and gets both done on this drive. The Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And he's got it. That cuts the lead. It's now 14 to 10. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was James Cook capping all of that off with a touchdown run. To the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. Now the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Uh, nowhere to go for Herbert, and he's going to go down. Ed Oliver that time, the one to get in there and bring him down. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you got someone to tackle him. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Here now, third and a yard. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was simply snap, rock, and fire. I mean, they didn't take long at all. Slant route, and I loved where he put it. He put on the body of the receiver low so that only he can catch it. Yeah, I don't think there was any magical formula there. Defensively, that's just tough to defend. Very much so. And that way, it allows the receiver to keep his body in front of the defender and not allow him to go through him to knock the ball away. Here's a give to Dobbins. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there, about to break a big one. Two yards to go, second down. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain, so when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 45-yard line. They go with Edwards left side. Solid running on the carry, but still brought down just inside of the 40. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. 
Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. They'll try the air now with Herbert. Complete to Johnston here. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 22-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and that'll bring up second down. Usually the offense has an answer to anything a defense throws at them, including a safety valve. And that's what they did on that play. They went there, but the defense still made an excellent play and held them to no gain. They go back to the ground with Dobbins. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? They'll try to run for it with Dobbins. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. 47 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Dobbins. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Ah, uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. On second down, Spiller looking for space. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Isaiah Spiller. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers are able to add on to that lead. Well, solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. And each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and that makes it a 21-10 game. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, and they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive, so we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. 
it's a really difficult task. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. Third down, here's a run by Cook. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. But it wasn't a goal line situation, but how about the goal line formation on third and short? They went in and went heavy. No surprise on who was going to get the football. How about the power exhibited there? Yeah, that was just put a hat on a hat, drive forward. Nice job to pick it up. They run again on first down. Cook to about the 40-yard line. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Second down and six now. Now Allen. That's Isabella open on the right side. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Well, it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. Allen Slow here taken in by Isabella. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. And maybe that touchdown on the previous drive has re-energized this offense a little bit. They've been kind of sluggish until then. But they're showing signs of life here. And they get good yardage that time and a first down. A first and 10 here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And the Chargers are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. So the ball changing hands on the interception, but meanwhile here, we do have an injury on the play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. The Charger drive about to get going. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. On first and 10, Herbert. And he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. Play action. It's Herbert. He gets it to Johnston. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for L.A. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. On first down, Justin Herbert. Short throw to Disley. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And it'll be second in a couple. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half.
So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. That's leaking to the right, and he missed it by a foot or two. It's no good. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to a fine first half from running back J.K. Dobbins. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. On first down, it's Herbert. He's got a man complete. Down the sideline he goes. Touchdown, L.A. Darius Davis. His second touchdown of the night. And the Chargers come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Well, I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. <laughs> and one play, 75 yards in zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And the lead is up to 18 now. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. So here's the Bills' offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Here's a second and two now from the 33. They run it again with Cook. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Four yards the pick up, first down. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go for a touchdown. 
But the runs that really make it work are the ones where you just get what you need, right? And he barely got the first down, but he got it. On play action, Allen. That is caught. Kincaid with it. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he gets all the way down inside the 20-yard line. A big play here for Buffalo. 45 yards. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit. That might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the lead. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. To throw, it's Allen. That's caught by Kincaid, working the middle of the field. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. And they'll come up second and seven. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. Allen to throw once more. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And the Bills are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. But with the score where it is, you're not thinking field goals right now. You need touchdowns. So that was a much-needed conversion there on third down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run with Cook. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard that time, second and goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Here's Allen to throw it. This is caught. Touchdown, Bills. Curtis Samuel. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. L.A. set to take over again on offense. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. They'll start by running the option to the right. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved.
Option play, and they'll hand to Dobbins. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That good for 22 at a first down. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school, and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> good run there. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? On second down, a run with Dobbins. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. They'll come up now third and nine. Herbert. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. Well, the screen gets seven, but it's not enough, and it'll be fourth down. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play, because if you can get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves, that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down into those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the passer. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Throwing now is Allen. This taken in by Kincaid. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. Oh, that's a nice job of clearing space in the middle of the field for your tight end. He's going to start behind the line and run an angle route, hoping to kind of get lost in the middle of the field. And this is put right on him, and he's able to pick up a first down. Allen off the play fake. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. Now Allen again. Quick slant to Shakir. Down to the 10. And all the way home for the Bills touchdown. Khalil Shakir, 54 yards. And the Bills have cut it back within a score. And sometimes those slants, they can be so tough to defend after the catch. It, it just happens so quickly. And really, it will get set up there is how quickly everything happens. Ball's out of the hands of the passer in a hurry, and he just takes it and goes. And he went all the way into the end zone. And now Sean McDermott's made the call. They'll go for two. Allen will try to throw for it. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is.
After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. And the Chargers offense back out and ready to go. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll start with a handoff to Dobbins. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain? Or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? They'll come up now second and four from the 31. And Johnston sent in motion. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. Well, part of why that play works is because the defense has to freeze because they don't know whether he's going to off or keep it himself. And this time, how about that sleight of hand there? Gives it to his wideout. And that indecision defensively, boy, it hurt him in a big way. Uh, no one to go for Herbert, and he's going to go down. That's Matt Milano firing in from his linebacker position. And when you go five wide like they just did there, you can't really max protect, can you? No, you cannot. What you're hoping is that by going five wide, you're forcing the defense into coverage. And if you do that, you've got a chance to find some people downfield. But if they audible themselves and go into a blitz, then it's got to happen right now. Or very lights quickly. out. <laughs> or exactly right. Turn them out. That play's over. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 22 yards there, a first down. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. Got a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 41. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. A quick throw there is incomplete. Yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Well, thanks for joining us here on a Thursday night in the NFL. Third quarter, second and ten coming up. Now it's Herbert. Yeah, to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Herbert off of play action. And he is caught. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 14. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. On first and 10 is Spiller. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Herbert has it knocked free. We hear them discuss red zone efficiency a lot, CD, and they almost gave that one up in the red zone. Luckily, they'll have another shot. And you and I both know that every offensive coordinator, play caller in the league, they take particular delight in their red zone calls because those are the payoff ones. But you can't call a play if your team doesn't have the ball. Got to secure it. 
Very fortunate to get another shot. Here's second and goal. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And his throw is going to be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Back to throw here, Herbert. Touchdown, Chargers! Quentin Johnston, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers are able to stretch out their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Dicker down attack on the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it was Quentin Johnston who finished that drive off with a touchdown grab. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. Throws the out route and completes it to Samuel. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Cook up the gut. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Second and seven. To the air, Allen. Setting up the screen for Cook. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. The Bills have the football, but they trail here as we begin quarter number four. Allen going to try and throw on third down. Flush to his right. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. He certainly isn't looking at the scoreboard out there because, to me, all he's concerned about is analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game. Deficit's still there, but he's starting to hit them with some big plays. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now this throw caught left side. A big play here for Buffalo, and even 40 yards. And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one.
First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now Allen off the bootleg. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Curtis Samuel with his second touchdown of the night. And the Bills have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. To the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Quentin Johnston in the offense back to work. He's been a load for them to handle defensively. I know that much. Well, look at him. He's got seven catches on the game, and he's starting to shred them a little bit because... Not only is he catching him, he's picking up good yardage, keeping the chains moving, ball control, you name it. This big guy, what did you say? He's been a load for them to handle? That's right. He's Agreed. A, a seven catches, as you said, over 100 yards. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Josh Palmer, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Here's a give to Dobbins running right. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. from the 50. Here's Herbert. And his throw here is incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Second and 10. A give, Dobbins trying the right side. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. The Chargers on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and nine. A shotgun snap for Herbert. He'll get this one complete to Davis. And a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. So eight yards on the completion there. And that's going to make it fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield.
Trailing here in the second half, went for the aggressive play, got a little too aggressive. You've got to know when to pull up, or if you're going to go for it, how to take your body across a punter's body and not into him. Not a good play at all. A lack of discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and ten. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. To the right side and complete to Hurst. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Play action. It's Herbert. He gets it to Johnston. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. And a nice gain of 21 yards. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll run with Dobbins. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. The line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. From the gun, a run by Spiller. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. And this one is right through. And that'll push the lead up to eight. So that gets him a little bit of breathing room, but not much. And you have to think back to the field goal that he missed earlier. This would be a two-score game right now if he had converted then. And if you and I are thinking about it, you know he is as well because in the back of his mind, he's thinking, I hope I get one more shot in an important spot. He just made that one. He wants one more later to truly make up for the earlier miss. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. And here come the Bills. And remember, despite giving up the field goal, this is still a one-score game. They're in need of the touchdown and a two-point conversion. A field goal on this drive likely doesn't do them much good. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen, a short throw pulled in by Kincaid. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Allen going to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And a six-yard game gets him right around the 43. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. 
Here's Allen. Samuel bringing in the slam. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Allen to throw once more. Again, he'll find Samuel for the completion. Give him a gain of five on the completion at its second down. Allen now looks to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And the Chargers are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. I'm not sure I'm absolutely crazy about that play call there. I mean, it's only a one-score game, so is it really time to go bombs away and try and make a big play? I think you can take some underneath stuff and still move it downfield. L.A. readies for its next possession. Another important fourth quarter series coming up, that last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. The drive will commence with a run by J.K. Dobbins. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 95 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. And able to steer clear of that first tackler as he works his way forward for about four. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. Well, you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get him to the promised land for every runner. 100 yards or more in a game. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 28. A good pick up there, 26 yards. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it, and they got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw taken in by Palmer. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. And the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Now Herbert off the bootleg. Throw over the middle into the hands of the tight end, Parham. Only a yard on the completion. It's second and goal. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. Straight ahead, it's Spiller. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. Now Herbert, third and goal. Uh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground. Now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. 
So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to perhaps salt this one away. And his kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that one, CD, going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Allen and the Bills now, down by 11, 2.23 to play. They have all three timeouts and the two-minute warning, but they need two scores. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Shakir holds it in. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Decent start to the drive there. Of course, they need the touchdown, two-point conversion, and a field goal. Yeah, those guys are into it. How about the guys on the sideline? Do you see the coaches signaling all the personnel groups up on the sideline, ready to go in and out of the game? They've got to condense their time now in order to try and get back into it. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and ten. Here's Allen. This to the tight end, Kincaid. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And, of course, the guy throwing them, he's a big-time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. Well, so far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to them, and it's paying off. Now Allen. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. And while it's probably going to take a miracle at this stage, if they come down with this one in the end zone, They've still got a fighting chance. That one, however, winds up incomplete. But just over a minute to go in the football game. Second and ten. Throwing Allen. And he will find his man, Samuel. And he gets it all the way down inside the ten and mark him at the five. Of course, remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. Doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. Here's first and goal. Allen. Eluding the pressure right. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. you got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. To throw is Allen. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst, and if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. So 
So still a small chance here with a little over 30 seconds to go, but they're definitely going to need this one to bounce their way. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. We got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Third down and one. Now Herbert, working the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And hey Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to one possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. In this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from Buffalo.